Hey there everyone, it's Velmore. Welcome back to my kitchen for another recipe from Heroes Feast. Today's recipe is a classic comfort food. It's a hearty and warm dish that would be present on the dinner table. This is chicken something dumplings. Let's get started. Now for this, I'm gonna chop up some carrots, celery, scallions, leeks, thyme, parsley, and garlic. Now I'm going to brown up the chicken. So into the pot I added leeks, thyme, bay leaves, and salt. And I stirred it around and let it soften up. Now that it's softened up, I'm going to add garlic and flour. And I'm going to stir that around and let that mix together. And now I'm going to add the sherry. And now I'm going to add the chicken broth. Now it's time to put the chicken back in. So this recipe comes to us from the town of Kormorp in the region of the western heartlands of Faerun. This town has one of the largest populations of halflings in it throughout the whole area. And while there's not much of note to the town, it's a small farm town. Its closest neighbor is the city of Darkhold which is the headquarter of the Zentarim, which is a thieves guild and generally shady group of people. And so now that that's started to simmer, we're just going to let it cook for about an hour. It is rumored that the people of this town work as spies for the Zentarim, keeping an eye on the merchants coming through and other travelers in the region. This allows the halflings to utilize another one of their skills, which is stealth. Mostly going just unnoticed by larger people. They can be used to great advantage as spies or scouts or, you know, anyone who can gather information or, you know, get the lay of the land. So now for the dumplings, I'm going to start with some flour, baking powder, onion powder, salt, and some pepper. And I'm just going to bring that together. And now to the flour mixture, I'm going to add the scallions. I'm just going to toss them in to get them coated. And into this, I'm going to add a mixture that is melted butter, some of the reserved chicken fat, and milk. And it's all been warmed up just a little bit. I'm just going to mix that and make sure everything gets wet. Now that's cooled a bit, I'm going to remove the chicken from the bone and shred it. Now that that's shredded up, I'm just going to return it back into the stew. I'm going to bring that back up to a simmer. And now to finish it off, I'm going to add in more of the leeks, the carrots, and the celery. Also going to add in the parsley. Stir that in with the stew.
And now I'm going to put the dumplings in. And I'm going to cover that and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Classic, comforting, and delicious. This chicken and dumplings was all of that. The book calls it chicken something dumplings. Well, I think I figured out what the something is. It's the onion flavor throughout. With sautéed leeks and larger pieces of leek in the broth and the scallions in the dumpling, you're not going to have a bite that doesn't have some of this in it. And it was delicious. I really enjoyed the scallions in the dumpling. That was... They, I was worried they were going to affect the structure. They didn't. They were great. And the stew was exactly what you want. You want a nice, hearty, filling, warm stew. And that's what this was. My only change would be I should have cut the vegetables a little thinner. Uh, I like my stew vegetables to just be a little softer than they were. But that's not really going to detract from the taste of this. I hope you guys enjoy it. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Velmore. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.